you know, COVID first hit and we closed the library building, um, we felt the need as, as a library to evolve. So one of the things that we started doing is that we use the equipment in our X lab, which basically consists of a lot of technology and sewing machines. And we gave them to our staff to start making masks, um, specifically children masks, because you know that um, when COVID first be became, um, when we first became aware of COVID, there was the misconception that because there's no children size masks, they must be immune or they must not need to wear one. Um, so we decided to focus on making children masks and we decided to tap into um, our smaller businesses independently owned in Round Lake and just asking them, hey, what can we do? Do you need masks for you, for your employees? Um, and as a library, we continue to make and get them out into the community. But I started realizing that the need was so strong that we could not tackle this just as a library. I needed the support of our community partners. Um, and that's when um, I teamed up with Maria Coluna from the school district and Betsy Berganza from the YWC of, of Lake County. And we started um, to work as a team to get masks, to get PPE um, out into the vulnerable populations that are quarantined or that have chronic illnesses that um, don't feel safe going into grocery stores um, because they already have a chronic illness. Um, so we started working as a team and started um, uh, coming up with these PPE kits where we would uh, not only provide the product, but also educational material. And we um, used the volunteers from uh, the BPAC group and delivered uh, to people's homes. Of course, not inside the homes. Um, we were being safe all the time. So we would just drop it off and then we would follow up with a phone call um, so that we made sure that if they had any questions, we could go over the educational material together um, and really just form that that relationship, just kind of going back to the original point of we were still getting the communication out. It's just communication has become a lot more personable now um, because everybody's needs are different. You know, COVID has not impacted everyone in one size fits all, right? Everybody has unique, unique situations um, and it often takes having a little bit more time to really um, have those conversations. So, yeah. No. So what do you think has been the biggest success in project wise or community building and such during, during this time? Mm -hmm. Our biggest success I think has been the sense of community for sure. The camaraderie that we've all expressed with each other that, you know, we've come together and identified, um, needs and being able to offer our, our, our support and in whichever way we can so that, hey, you know, if, if, I, if I have access to masks and maybe you have access to um, education material or, or something else, how can we combine this effort to meet the greater needs of the community? Um, so I definitely think that the sense of community is stronger than ever right now for us. Um, whereas, you know, before, if we were not used to relying on each other as much, we were a little bit more independent. COVID has definitely forced us um, to learn to ask for help, learn to accept help, and form a, a sense of community that is, is unstoppable right now. It's, it's strong.